Uh, my name is Frederick Fellman, and we'll spell that Foxtrot Echo Lima Lima Mike Alpha November. Uh, I was in Vietnam from June of 67 to June of 68. My major problem in Vietnam was that I looked like I was 12 years old, and they called me Baby Son and Lieutenant Kid. <laughs> Apparently they needed a lot of second lieutenants to get killed in Vietnam, so I went to OCS at Fort Lee, Virginia, and that was in April, and in June, I went to Vietnam as a 20-year-old second lieutenant. The first day of Tet Offensive, uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't know what it was. We got woke up, I guess, around 4 o'clock in the morning, we were getting mortared. Uh, we were drawing sniper fire from down to the, from the village that was right down, maybe quarter click down there. Captain told me to take five guys and go down and get the sniper. So we got to the village, it was empty. There wasn't a person inside the village. So we're going down these little alleyways and your eyes are like as big as 50 cent pieces because everybody was scared because nobody was there. We came out to a little road and there's a two-story stucco house. That's the only way they, they hit, hit our camp from that, that far away. So we, me and a spec five went up to the, there was two pillars. Second we stopped there, there was two people sitting on the porch. They opened up, but we opened up first. And then a split second later, we were in a 10-foot firefight. I jumped behind one pillar, guy, the guy jumped behind the other pillar. Next thing I knew, I looked down, there's a hand grenade. The hand grenade went off, it knocked me out, and I landed about 10 feet out in the dirt road. So now I'm between my guys and them. So I crawled back in. Uh, the other guy, he was badly wounded in his whole stomach. So apparently the grenade went more his way than my way, because I wasn't, I got hit across the knuckles, the chin, and the, and the top of the head. I thought I lost my weapon. But I brought it with me. When I looked down, I still had it in my hand. Because I was coming to, I could hear the firefight going on. And then it, then it was loud, and I'm going, I'm out in the middle. I'm out there. I'm out completely exposed. It was in, laying on this dirt road. So I'm trying to figure out where this hand grenade come from. So I saw there was a there was this set of shutters. So I figured, and I saw a hole. I said, they must have dropped it out the hole. So I looked around. I had two grenades. I crawled back. I went underneath where they were firing from. I pulled the pin. I had to count it three or four because you're supposed to throw it right away. And as I put it up to the hole, now I'm thinking, this is all in a split second, what if it doesn't go through? Because if it doesn't go through, I think I'll let it blow my hand off because I wasn't going to let it drop down on my chest, but it went through. And the firing inside stopped. So I got a Purple Heart and I got a Bronze Software Valor for that. They, they jumped up and they were startled to see us. We just hadn't pulled the trigger first. That's the only reason. If it wasn't for that, we're not doing this. <laughs> we just spotted them a split second before they spotted us. So that's what happened that day. <laughs> what, what I just described was on the 31st of January, 1968. That was the first day of the Tet Offensive. 